If you follow the NBA in any capacity, you'll probably remember this shot as perhaps the most clutch play in the history of the game. James catches, puts up a three, won't go, rebound, box, back out to Allen, his three-pointer, bang! Ray Allen tends to get most of the credit here for making that insane three-pointer to tie Game 6 of the 2013 NBA Finals, but what allowed him to obtain such a clean look at the basket was thanks to this guy right here, Chris Bosh, who in turn was responsible for one of the most important rebounds in the history of the game. Bosh was a great player, not only because of that aforementioned rebounding play, but he was also a multiple-time All-Star, one of the best players at his position, and generally known to be an all-around good person. So why was a perennial all-star in the midst of what was an incredible regular season, and right after signing a five-year max contract, basically forced out of the sport he played so well for 14 years? There were no personal issues to speak of. He didn't do anything heinous off the court to prevent him from playing and didn't suffer from the usual suspect list of injuries that were common in NBA players. Yet one day in 2016, even Bosch's team president, Pat Riley, officially said that his star player's playing days were essentially over. So what happened? Bosch was having issues with his blood, specifically with a blood clot known as a pulmonary embolism. Pulmonary being a fancy way to describe a relation to the lungs, and embolism being the term to describe a clot that forms in one part of the body, but then moves and settles to a different area. Now, blood clots by themselves aren't necessarily a bad thing, as pretty much everyone has this as a defense mechanism against injuries like lacerations. Blood transforms or coagulates into a solid or semi-solid state, to prevent further injury at the site of the wound, putting a stop to bleeding and infection. Almost all blood clots that migrate to the lungs will start initially in the legs, generally called a deep vein thrombosis, or DVT for short. Deep vein, which, surprise, refers to the deep veins in our body, and thrombosis, which is a blood clot similar to an embolism, but hasn't migrated or moved from the origin of formation. In Bosch's case, a blood clot would have formed and then broken away from one of the vessels in his legs, traveled through his venous system, and lodged itself in one of the lungs' arteries, creating a blockage which then impedes blood flow to the lungs. This tracks why he was experiencing issues with shortness of breath, as blood, specifically the hemoglobin component in the blood, is responsible for picking up oxygen from the lungs and transporting it around the body. So if a clot is preventing this procedure from happening, issues with breathing will typically happen. Despite playing 36 minutes, Bosch is struggling to breathe. It got so bad, like the, pretty much the whole, my whole left side of my body, I couldn't move it without pain. But typically blood clots don't form in younger adults, and Bosch was just in his early 30s when this really started to affect his basketball career. To help us understand the different potential causes of blood clots, I want to draw some attention to something called Verkaus Triad, which is a trio of factors that we can think about that puts someone at risk for blood clots. The first thing is something called hypercoagulability, which is any state in your body that makes it more susceptible to clots. Things like genetic or hereditary conditions that can make you more susceptible to clots, along with various cancers increasing the coagulability or transformation ability of your blood. The second thing that we can think about is stasis of blood flow, with stasis being the lack of flow or no flow. So anytime your body just sits there or is in the state of stasis or low flow for a long period of time, it has a higher likelihood of becoming thicker or coagulating into a clot. This is the reason why you may have heard that it's advisable to get up once in a while during long international flights, or to stand up every once in a while during those marathon gaming sessions. Sitting for long durations simultaneously will cause the blood in your body to slowly pool in your legs, potentially causing some unwanted clots. The third and last part of the triad is endothelial damage or injury. All of the blood vessels in your circulatory system contain these endothelial cells, which are the innermost lining or layer of these vessels. Damage, trauma, or injury to these cells unfortunately will cause the body to react in a way where the development of thrombosis or clots are more likely to form. Now with Bosch, he believes that his clot development was due to the combination of first sustaining a calf injury then not wearing compression tights on a subsequent long flight home, and not immediately seeing a doctor right away when the pain migrated from his leg to the thoracic region of his ribs. Now, it's certainly possible that the combination of the in-game injury in conjunction with the long flight would lead to a clotting issue, but even after addressing his initial DVT diagnosis, the clot issue persisted, meaning that there was an underlying issue in addition to the reasons before. 
The normal treatment for DVT and excessive clotting is blood thinners for three to six months, and a series of serial images like ultrasounds to make sure that the existing clots are all gone, and to make sure that any hidden clots are broken up. But unfortunately for Bosch, this treatment method is only for isolated incidents and not for persistent thrombosis cases. In this case, blood thinning medication will have to have been taken for a long period of time, which essentially means that he'd never be able to return to the court without putting himself in serious risk. Having these serious issues meant that he could really suffer a catastrophic injury literally on the court, and with the addition of a failed physical, Bosch decided to leave professional basketball for good on February 12th of 2019. Despite the unfortunate ending to his NBA career, things after retirement were rather positive for Bosch. He was otherwise healthy, he was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame, and even had his jersey retired by the Miami Heat just a few months after the announcement of his departure from the sport. Honestly, not bad.